Assalamualaikum I don't know what time uh, you're watching So I just say Bonjour Bonsoir and Bon week to you Okay, my name is Muhammad Fawaz Yusubri And I'm from uh, Diploma of In Automotive Maintenance So, uh, I'm from group uh, Toulon And for my group, I will present about Interesting facts About Toulon In France, okay? Hi, Assalamualaikum My name is Mama Haris Bema Khairo And bonjour to everyone Hi, Assalamualaikum and bonjour My name is Muhammad Anis Aiman Bezana Fazli And I'm from AMT uh, We are from Toulon Group Today I want to present about festival that celebrate in Toulon, France Assalamualaikum and bon nuit my name is Muhammad Shawal Daus Beroslan. I'm from Diploma in Automotive Technology. So, I'm from Group uh, Toulon. So, today I'm gonna be presenting about famous food and dessert in Toulon, France. So you guys, uh, so my part is uh, I will share to you about top three spot in Toulon, France. Uh, so first, uh, we know is Toulon uh, is in uh, the southeastern France. We know Toulon is a beautiful city that we can go when we we visit France. So right now we just go straight to the point. Uh, what the top spot there are tourists always go when they in Toulon, France. Alright, the first spot that I can share to you uh, is Villeville or uh, Old Town. So the Old Town of Toulon which is uh, Villeville was severely damaged during the Second World War. However, it has retained much of its former charm. By continuing to the west, visitors may stroll along the busy rural area that leads into the root hodge and then to the place to get with the Fontaine des Trois Dolphins, Fontaine of Three Dolphins, which is uh, overgrown and covered with deposits of lime, like many fountains and, and in province. Tourists will enjoy the view of a peaceful place. This city also like relaxing city that we can clear our mind for a while and relieve our stress. Right, the second uh, spot uh, is Port de Toulon. The Bay of Toulon is considered Europe's most beautiful on uh, harbour, but it is also a busy working port. In fact, there are multiple ports where fishing boats and yachts are docked as well as where ferry and cruise ships depart. Along the harbour, pleasant waterfront side coasts are lined with boutiques and restaurants featuring outdoor terrace. Alright, the third place is Mont Ferron. Mont Ferron is the most dominating landmark of Toulon. The impressive Mont Ferron can be reached by food, car or the Telepatric du Faron, which is a, a cable car. It is possible to walk from Place de la Libre in the city centers for about 40 minutes, traversing the park recesses and including a steep climb up the footpath to the summit. The cable car offers the most spectacular transfer to Mont Ferron. The right features breathtaking panoramic vista of the Bay of Toulon and the landscape of the uh, Liva region. Alright, the fourth, uh, the fourth spot that uh, I share, which is the Moose Memorial de Debarkment, which is uh, a live landing museum. So the Moose Memorial de Debarkment is at the summit of Mont Ferron in the Tour Beaumont. To arrive here, the steep and winding one-way road, Route du Ferron, offers rewarding scenery and past the Fort du Saint Antoine along the way. Housed in a martial brooding, the Lai Landing Museum displays a collection of artifacts 
and documentation weapons and articles of equipment related to the landing of the Allied force from August 15, 1944. Alright, the next spot is Opera de Toulon. Opera de Toulon uh, is uh, the place of Victor Hugo. And Opera de Toulon was designed by the architect named Charles Garnier who also designed the Palace Garnier which is an uh, opera house in Paris. This splendid neoclassical building is one of the largest opera house in France outside in uh, outside of Paris. The Toulon Opera House was constructed in uh, 18, uh, 1862 with the help of many local artists to create the decorations. The Southern Facade is adorned with uh, allegorical statue of tragedy and comedy that were sculpted by Joseph Thomas, while the Northern Facade depicts the muses created by Montaigne. Alright, the last uh, spot that I can share uh, which is the Ile de Pop Curls. A perfect day trip from Toulon, the Ile de Pop Curls is the largest of the East Dio, uh, which is the Golden Island, in the Syrian Mediterranean Sea. About an hour ferry ride from the port of Toulon, the East uh, Idly Island offers a uh, a relaxing change of pace from uh, from the glizzy Côte d'Azur. The island is an interesting place to try out snorkeling and other outdoor activities. Well groomed, trees shaded by pine and eucalyptus trees are wonderful for nature walks, hiking, and mountain hiking. Mountain biking, sorry. Despite its remote feel. The island offers upscale restaurant and a, live, a lively jazz festival in July. Alright, that's all from me. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed my explanation about the best spot in Toulon. Also, you guys can also, uh, you can reach more spot, uh, more best place that we that you can go when you visit Toulon. Uh, I just said about six spot, uh, but they have a lot of place that we can go and and enjoy the view in Toulon right thank you everyone first MIDI festival since 2005 the MIDI association has been envisioning and organizing innovative concert and event around contemporary music style nine, nine years ago they brought to life the MIDI Toulon festival and even they continue to captive music level today. Since its launch in 2006, MIDI Toulon Festival has become an annual event that set the stage for three days of electrifying music. This festival takes place in mid-November this year, presenting an electric mix of genre including electro, punk and indie rock. Next, Festival de Music de Toulon. The program is associated with the Toulon Music Festival around chamber music and the Toulon Opera. With its season of symphony, concert have made it possible to develop various educational action throughout the school year. Very attached to this accompaniment, they organize concerts specially intent for young audience meeting with musicians as well as residents in school. This is their contribution to, their, to the awakening to music and culture in general while preparing public of tomorrow. Lastly is Hellfest, also called Hellfest Summer Open Air. Hellfest is a rock festival focusing on uh, heavy brutal music held in France. Its high attendance makes it a uh, French music festival with the largest turnover. It's also one of the biggest metal festivals in Europe and the first to exist in France. It's originate in Nade, in Nade Music Festival, the Fury Fest. Held from 2002 to uh, 2005 in different areas. 
Hellfest took over in 2006 and over the year has seen a continuous rise in visitor from 22,000 in the first edition to 55,000 tickets sold per day in 2017. In 2022, the Seven Day Festival featured 350 bands and was attended by 60,000 people per day. That's all from me. Thank you. Bye. Okay, first of all, Toulon uh, is a a place, a great place for commercial port and industry center. It seem like in Malaysia we have Port Klang and Penang, yes. So Toulon is the place for commercial port. Alright, Toulon is France' principal naval center on the Mediterranean shipbuilding and ship repairing a major industries at there. Okay. Also, Toulon is a place for chemicals, machinery, furniture, and cork production. Alright, and then Toulon also a growing center for aerospace and other related industries in France. Okay, and then second fact that interesting in Toulon is State Mayol. Toulon is famous uh, with their sport, uh, which is rugby. Okay, rugby is the most popular sport in France and almost consider a religion in the south of France which is uh, in Malaysia we got JDT JDT is the biggest uh, the biggest region and the famous uh, football sport but in France Toulon is the famous rugby sport okay okay and then Opera de Toulon Opera de Toulon is a Just like a house, but it I don't know maybe it is uh, place the place of the opera is the center of the Toulon. Okay, and the last one, Hotel des Arts. Okay, the special I don't know the special. I think the interesting about this hotel is that it's not just a hotel, but It's also like a art place. Okay, it's like when we when you come inside the place, it's like you go to KL uh, and Penang, where they have what they have their art place, art tourism for tourists come and look at the greatest of the arts. Okay, that's all from me. Thank you. <coughs> so today I'm gonna be presenting to you uh, top five French pastries you should know. So first we got macarons. So what is macarons? Macarons is this sweet meringue meringue base biscuit cake made from egg white. Powdered sugar and almond flour, almond flour is uh, French top popular. Has it that the chef of Catherine, the Medici from Italy, introduced this when she married uh, Henry II of France. In another legendary story, two nuns from the commercial during the French Revolutionary in 1792 and made it famous. The mission des source Macron is Nancy is said to be baked according to the same centuries. Old recipe today Saint Emilian and La 
in le dure uh, will re renown it for their macrons so for the number two we have profiterole so uh, what is profiterole another pastry supposed supposedly brought to france by the medici in torage of italian chef this feel french shooks pastry balls constant with cream custard or ice cream and it's decorated with powdered sugar caramel or chocolate italian chef <coughs> pantarelli invented shooks pastry but his original recipe changed over time and french Patricia Jean John Abisse perfect the dog into chokes buns. Then Chef uh, Anton Karim come up <coughs> with the idea of filling the chokes with cream in the 18th century, resulting in the profiterole <coughs> as we know it today. He also invented the profit profiterole tower the wedding cake of choice in france that is called croquem botch so for the number three uh, dessert we have really jeus so what is really jeus so it created in 19th century by italian pastry chef frescati in paris this is considered one of the most famous dessert in France. Translate to mean none. It consists of two chooks buns on top of each other. Resembly, resembling a chubby nun with a small habit around the shoulder. The bottom half of the religious is larger and fatter while the top circular is smaller both both filling both fill with cream or custard some version contain chestnut cream coffee caramel or rose flavor so for the second last one we have pain au chocolate so what is that is uh, basically originally made from a brush base this means uh, chocolate bread in french and has since uh, evolved to use the same buttery flaky pastry as a croissant it made uh, its first appearance in the early 19th century and it's also known as chocolatin in the southwest part of france so for the last one uh, for the top five for the last one uh, dessert in France we have Madeleine so Madeleine is made with eggs flour uh, sugar and butter so this buttery light and soft sponge cake is a popular tea cake in French cafe so the term Madeleine possibly originated uh, from an 18th century cook named Madeleine so this is the who first made uh, this or a uh, pilgrim named Madeleine who brought the recipe back after her pilgrimage so I say it was chef uh, advice who made this this team this thin stiff shell shape cake okay that's all from me and my friends Haris, Shawal and Denise thank you so much to Madam Shobeha for teaching us this subject and I think France is the best language that I learn right now because I learn uh, Arabic I learn English I learn Pakistani so I think uh, French is not the best but it's great because 
I don't know, I feel very happy to learn uh, French language and I hope that I can fluently speak in French on the future. Okay, that's all for me. Thank you so much. Bye.